What is the crack, lads? And welcome back to your weekly roundup of eFootball 2023 news. Every week, we keep you guys up to date. So if you appreciate it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. We are dropping daily content and we've got some big plans for subscriber showdowns and subscriber leagues and stuff like that. So if you want to get involved in that. But anyway, onto the news. Instead of plugging myself onto the news, we've got some new packs We've got some new legends, we've got some new events, so we're going to go through it fairly quick and then we're going to go over to the patch notes on the official website. So there's no authentic team match events this week, but we do have dream team rinse and repeat events as usual. We also have our eFootball League reset. So we've got the Italian League, which ends in uh, six days time or seven days time. You've got the AFC Champions League phase two and you've got the worldwide clubs as well. Obviously you get 50 coins for clearing that, you get uh, chance deals in that. And you get a chance deal for a player of the week. So you get a free spin of a player of the week for completing that. Again, as usual, you can just play, let the AI play and you can sim the games in manager mode or whatever. EFootball League, that has been reset as well. So if you are in Division 4, as I was, you are going to go back down to Division 7. Now, we will get into the online qualifiers for the actual kind of World Cup event that they're doing uh, at the end of the video. So make sure you, you check out that or you stick around for that. There's also a few, couple of login bonuses and free login bonuses here that you would have got. Uh, so there's gifts from admin. You get a free spin for the Epic players, which we'll get into in a second. You've also got the new Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia packs that are out. You get three free spins of them. Trainer points, login bonuses, and then also whatever you've got uh, as your rewards so we're going to claim all of those and we will go into the club packs as you see here so the club packs that are out at the moment i will be doing a review as usual on the epics the big one is probably the epics uh which we have a free one here so you've got del piero nedved and davits we are going to spin that really quick here and hopefully we get davits straight off the rip but more likely we won't because my luck is through the through the kitchen sink if that's even a saying but anyway um, you do get a free spin of that as a login bonus. We do get a four star. And who is it? Somebody from Lazio. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We're not going to use him, but not too bad. So yeah, they're in a pack of 150. Your worldwide players of the week then as well. You've got all of those guys there. Uh, just in case you're not at your console and you can't check, you can check eFootballDB.com as well. Manchester pack is still there. And then we've also got this. Now, I think they're going to probably like blow like a load of these out uh, for the World Cup event to tie into November. I think with the big update coming in November, we're going to get a ton of these national team selections. You've got the Malaysia Deluxe pack here. Now, these cards obviously have low rating, but they've got massive potential. Like, look at this guy here, left back, 62 levels to go. He's already a 70 overall, and he's already got 76 speed. So you can just tell that that guy is going to be a beast. I will be doing a review on on those guys as usual we've also got malaysia and thailand and you have your free spins there for them for the login bonus and that's pretty much it in terms of the actual content that they added if we want to call it that now over on the actual official website where we are here we're going to get into a couple of a couple of bits and pieces here so just give me two seconds all right, so the first bit of news we get is kind of a bit of boring stuff. It's just a couple of issues. So they say that when you're playing matches under the authentic match events, player squad numbers may differ from the official squad numbers, even if you've set them. When purchasing the pack, the objective completed message is continuously or erroneously displayed, even though the related objective is yet to be completed. When users who have created a match room uh, access and another user enters the match room, the button display, the bottom screen will be changed to that of the match room screen, rendering them inoperable. This is a display only issue. When starting training mode, the camera settings applied are different from the configured settings. So again, they're just like little issues um, that you know they're probably looking at. They're currently at work and they will be updating an update for that. They also talk about a friend match issue. A lot of people that um, have been enjoying the friend matches, you know, haven't probably run into this issue, but it says here that if both users sh same share the same IP address as a result of connecting to the same Wi-Fi network, the match will not start, it cannot be played. This issue was, can be circumvented by not connecting your device or choice to the same Wi-Fi network. So basically what, you know, yeah, look, uh, there's probably a video that I could do on this of how people actually you know, a lot of people, how they cheat, like, in, I'm not saying that people, this is for people that cheat, but a lot of people use VPNs, and it's not just in eFootball, it's in a lot of online games, where they will dictate, like, what connection that they get, they will dictate, you know, say for Call of Duty, they will dictate what lobbies they get into, um, 
and stuff like that and they'll be able to pick and choose basically so there was an issue before that people were doing um that they would literally match you know match whoever they wanted to match say they wanted to get a result that they wanted to win 15 nil if they wanted a qualifier they wanted to get like division one status um it is a big issue in online games no matter what way you look at it with vpn so that is just something that they probably are looking at um but again yeah i haven't really ran into many people having that issue so and then last but not least we do have the update files so they talk here about gameplay fixes and adjustments and they said they fixed the issue where the center back would position himself too high up the pitch when the team is attacking deep in the opposition half making him vulnerable to counterattacks. so i actually noticed this the other day when i was playing one of my matches uh, against a friend match where i was playing i think it was like a standard four at the back but no matter what i did my player was just kind of like moving forward now the next game i didn't notice it at all um but in that game like it was literally nothing i could do could fix it it was like he was just like having a bad a, a mad one um i think it was actually martinez lissandra martinez that was doing it um and he basically was just roaming forward the whole time like staying in kind of like a dmf anchorman role even you know leaving a gap at the back so um you know defendant didn't take a deep line didn't fix it in the sub tactics or the advanced tactics for the player instructions or anything like that so yeah just to keep an eye on that that they are working on that and then also we are going to be getting the big update in november now people are also asking me about the the watch call it the um people were always also asking about the qualifiers for this right so this this competition here the online qualifiers right there seems to be a bit of confusion about it but it says it pretty much tells you exactly what it is i mean you have to be from the region and you have to pick the team like so if you're french and you're living in france you have to pick france before yesterday or before yeah i think it was before yesterday before the update you would have had to pick them and you had to pick your base team as france your region is set as france like my region is set as ireland i can't change that with this profile so i have to play like as ireland and as ireland aren't one of the teams in the you know tournament in the international cup i literally can't compete in it so yeah it's like as i said if you are a, you know a french player and you pick france you and you are in division one you should be able to play it so there seems to be a bit of yeah a bit of kind of uh confusion with that and then also they talk about just the rules of contact and stuff like that um and they talk about obviously when you are competing it and it says starting on the 20th of the 10th you can now participate in the eFootball international cup please read the terms and conditions before and then when you actually go here to the official site right when you actually go here when they talk about the representative here they say that representatives it says that the online qualifiers are from the 20th of the 10th which is eFootball league division one players top rank users of each country region will advance to the selection playoffs so yeah it is a bit of a pity obviously because you only have the list of eligibility or eligible uh teams here which have actually qualified uh for it and as you can see here there is a couple of missing uh guys so missing teams not missing teams but they're just not you know they're just not there so um like for the likes of wales england france germany italy netherlands all those teams are there but for the likes of me like ireland aren't there uh scotland aren't there uh you know there's a couple of other teams other teams missing as well so not missing they just didn't qualify so um uh, yeah so that's basically it and uh that's it for